When it's the middle of December and it gets dark about half past two and the rain's coming down horizontal and it's so cold the dog goes home, you think, crikey, why the hell am I doing this? There's something about it that makes you think you want to do it and do it well. I've just heard that we will be going through to the Royal Show now, which is fantastic. Well, I basically live in the middle of nowhere and it's a very idyllic place to live, but the term bus stop doesn't never appears. I could be a vet, but I couldn't be a doctor. I couldn't deal with people. <laughs> uh, from our, my young farmers club, there are about ten lads. Of those, probably six or eight would be from farming families, and probably only two or three are actually practically farming. Everybody else is doing something else or gone away to make their fortune elsewhere. Well, it was originally a 300 acre farm, um, and now it's split between my father and my grandfather. Realistically, there isn't enough acres. We can't make enough money to pay for a living. You know, my, my dad really can't get a reasonable living off it. During the week, I work for a civil engineering company in Herefordshire. Five days a week at work, sat in the office and out, out inspecting bridges, and then I'll come home in the evenings, uh, particularly in the summer when I'm really busy. I'll work all evening and, and into, the, into the night. It's pretty intensive, it's uh, long hours, but I can't lose that link of farming, it's too important to me. I enjoy it too much to let it completely go. It's the busiest day of the young farmers season. Um, there are so many competitions and almost everyone from every club gets involved. You know, the whole year has built up to this day for competitions and you get the adrenaline and the buzz to doing it and you know that you're doing well and, uh, and, and it's all coming together and, and, and you're having a go, learning something and, and making your club proud really. And that's, uh, that's really worth a lot. It's a really good social day with everyone getting together and the dance afterwards and things. They say that Young Farmers is the biggest unofficial dating agency in the UK. Yeah, there's just a really good vibe and everyone gets chatting and talking to each other. I have got my eye on someone, but uh, she's not a young farmer, so a bit controversial. We'll never be able to buy a farm, but... So it's a lot of money just to start off. And then you've got the rent of the land of certainly pound an acre. You either go have a lucky break or have a lot of money saved up. Most people just inherit their father's farm. Well, very few that are, that are carrying on in, in the family business. A lot are getting out and these farms have been absorbed into bigger organisations. You're subject to the vagaries of the market quite often and I know free market economy and all the rest of it, we've got to, we've got to work with that. But um, farmers are one of the few sort of industry where you actually produce something, but when you start producing it, you haven't really got a clue what you're going to sell it for, which is pretty stupid, really, when you think about it. But that's the way it's set up. It takes a lot of eating, living and working in the countryside, and there's not many jobs you can get so much satisfaction from. But it's, just, it's just the money issue, and if you've got bills to pay, then you've got to find the money somehow, and if that, if that means going out to work elsewhere, it's got to be done.